What's up you guys? I'll go back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT55, courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So we are in this one today because this is all new for the 2024 model year. And this is actually a relatively practical two-door coupe, believe it or not. So ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so msrp for the amg gt55 will start at 134,900. dollars of course there are so many different options for this one i believe ours is priced right at just a little bit above 160,000. but regardless of the configuration that you go with the power plant for the gt55 is going to be the same powering this beast is a handcrafted amg 4 liter bi-turbo v8 putting out 469 horsepower at 5500 rpm 516 pound-feet of torque coming in at right around 2500 rpm power sent to all four wheels through the mercedes 4matic all-wheel drive system love seeing that through a nine-speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know we will be testing out here in a little bit zero to 60 time according to mercedes benz comes in at 3.8 seconds i put it that way because typically mercedes likes to under promise and over deliver so when it's actually really tested it's probably be, could be like closer to three seconds or something crazy like that but top speed 183 miles per hour that's impressive with mpg numbers coming in at 13 in the city 20 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here on our gt55 did want to mention to you guys the drive mode uh drive modes are actually located all on the steering wheel there's uh just knobs basically you turn it to the left and to the right i'm in comfort right now but drive modes will include comfort slippery sport sport plus race there's a manual mode there's even a drift mode where you can actually send 100 percent of the power to the rear wheels which is pretty stinking cool and that's accessed through a kind of like a paddle shifter combination through uh in, in race mode so it's kind of a secret drift mode i guess you could say but just think things like the shift points the throttle response the steering sensitivity the uh exhaust node all-wheel drive system engagement and actually the rear axle steering which is crazy as well so we'll get more into that later in the video but now that we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's uh let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first and let's see how quickly the paddle shifters are going to react for us here yep they're absolutely insane instantaneous as you would expect from any amg or really any mercedes for the most part so that is insane that acceleration was pretty crazy too but we got to do the acceleration one more time because I got to give back full control to the uh, AMG GT55 here and uh, yeah, let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, found her straight away in three, two, one, go. Oh gosh. Ah! <laughs> bop, bop, bop. Oh my gosh. Did you guys hear that? Oh man, hang on. Let me see if I can do it again. Off. Oh. Ah, just a little one. Dang, that was insane, man. There's pops on the exhaust note. I cannot wait till the exhaust clip later in this video. So make sure you watch the entire video because there will be an exhaust clip, I promise you. That was insane. Yeah, plenty of an acceleration emerging onto any highway really in the world. And uh, yeah, that exhaust note, that, I think it was that that really impressed me the most. And I love this microfiber steering wheel too. There's a several different steering wheel options. We'll get more into that as well later in the video, but that was an incredible acceleration for the AMG GT55. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in comfort driving mode because I wanna test out kind of the ride quality later here too. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 15.4 inch perforated front disc with six piston front calipers the back 14.2 inch perforated rear disc and believe it or not yellow brake calipers actually do come standard but there are optional black brake calipers and that's actually a free option if you wanted to go that route but carbon ceramic braking system that goes for eight thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars if you wanted that overall as far as braking feel goes since there's no one behind us it's instantaneous man very firm braking feel instantly brings you to a stop as expected in a car like this so i love it but anyways then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent multi-link front suspension in the back independent five-link rear suspension but 
also an adaptive suspension system with anti-roll technology. So essentially it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the rotor perfections, giving you a smoother ride, but it also tightens up that suspension during heavy cornering, giving you better handling as well. And again, with the anti-roll technology, if you're taking the turns a little bit quick on some back roads, that's gonna assist with the body roll, giving you a much more planted feel and better handling overall. So as far as ride quality goes, since I just put it in that comfort driving mode, like I said, it's actually very nice right now in comfort driving mode. So absolutely no issues there. This is kind of like a touring coupe really. So um, plenty of ride quality in this thing. But one thing I did want to mention though, because this is one of my favorite parts too. If I were to change it up, put it in that Sport Plus driving mode, this steering feel is weighted so much on the heavier side of things. It instantly points you in the direction that you want to go. I love the steering feel in this thing. So incredible handling, incredible steering feel. So well done Mercedes for that. Well done AMG probably for that I should say. As far as cabin noise goes we're going 29 miles per hour right now so uh, this is a little bit of road noise I will say that but it's nothing that would bother me but what I really like quite honestly is that exhaust note. That's a noise that I could definitely get used to. I 100% absolutely love that so no issues with the cabin noise for me. But there is one added thing that the AMG GT55 has that most vehicles do not and I wanted to mention that to you guys. That is called active rear axle steering. I first saw that actually on a Maybach S class and that actually comes standard on this one believe it or not so essentially at under 62 miles per hour the rear wheels are going to steer as well up to 2.5 degrees opposite the front wheels essentially for a better turning radius so that is pretty darn cool I love that feature and like I said I'll try to show that to you guys with some b-roll here but it's a pretty cool freaking feature. Like I said, that's a luxury feature and that kind of adds to what I've been saying is this is a sports car, but it's like a touring sports car. So I don't know, I love it. Anyways, then touching on a uh, rear visibility, I can actually see perfectly fine out the back, believe it or not. Like a lot of coupes like the 370Z or the new Z even, or the C8 Corvette that I drove, the rear visibility is really pretty bad. But with the AMG GT55, this is 100% doable. Like visibility is brilliant. So absolutely no issues there. On top of that, in terms of forward visibility, rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on this one. So whenever the AMG detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. Kind of like automatic headlights. Just one less thing you gotta worry about there. And again, with forward visibility right now, uh, I'm looking through sunglasses, but that's better. I am looking at a head up display projecting my speed, speed limit and safety features up onto my windshield so better helping me keep my eyes on the road and really help enjoying the drive in this thing because it is such an enjoyable drive but anyways that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 mercedes-benz amg gt55 all right so here she is you guys the new 2024 mercedes-benz amg gt55 finished in patagonia red metallic which is a 1650 dollars paint option in case you wanted to go that route but as always let's go ahead and start with where this one is made taking a look at the vin first character is the letter w indicating that this one is made where it should be in Germany. So let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Of course, you got those signature AMG bars found on that front grille. You got the AMG logo found in the upper corner there as well. Twin power dome hood. You guys can see that. Definitely a very signature look for this one. Got some front air curtains down to the bottom corners there, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination, of course. So also looks good, along with this AMG crest, of course, since this is an AMG found right up there on the front of the hood. Always love that crest, that looks so dang good. As far as the headlights go, they are LED headlights with LED daytime running lights, of course. You do get the automatic feature. You also get automatic high beams coming standard, so when you have your high beams on at night and it sets the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams, and when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there, but you guys also see those three lights. Those are LED accent lights, and that comes standard as well. Mercedes calls those triple element lights, and if you're curious if they have any relation to the three points on on the uh, Mercedes logo there. That is not the case, just a coincidence. Um, just in case you were curious about that. But anyways, definitely a very good looking front end. There's no doubt to that, but that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, and so now since we are around to the side of this one, so much going on here. Let me go ahead and start with the window surrounds. They're either going to be finished in chrome or a gloss black 
dependent upon the configuration that you go with. Also with the side skirts and the accents found in the front fenders, again, they're gonna be finished either in chrome or a gloss black. As far as the side mirrors go though, they are gonna be finished in gloss black no matter what. They are power adjustable, of course. They are heated with LED integrated turret signals as well. They are also power folding. Also wanted to mention to you guys, much like the S-Class and really a lot of other Mercedes out there right now, you do have the flush door handles, so little added aerodynamics there. But interestingly enough, they are finished in with a chrome accent as opposed to the gloss black accents. I'm surprised they didn't finish that one with gloss black as well. So kind of interesting decision there. If you're curious about what the badging says on the uh, front fenders there, it actually says V8 by turbo for Matic. So that is what that is there for. Then taking a look at the wheel setup, I'm actually gonna get up a little closer to show these to you guys, because these are insane. They are AMG specific wheels. They look absolutely amazing. So 20 inch AMG twin 10 spoke alloys do come standard, but there are so many different wheel options. You got 20 inch and 21 inch wheel designs available for this one. And again, so many different options there. But anyways, let me get to that rear spoiler because I know everyone is curious about it, but that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and swing around to the back. All right, so since we are around back here, let me just go ahead and start with this rear spoiler here. It is an adaptive rear spoiler. So I noticed when I got up to higher speeds, it would automatically um, uh, extend there and then it would retract at lower speeds. So it is gonna adjust dependent upon the downforce that is needed at any given time, which is pretty stinking cold. But there are also ways through the infotainment screen as well as on the steering wheel where you can actually manually retract this rear spoiler if you wanted to, as I have done right here. So that is pretty darn cool. It's a very aggressive look. It actually retracts a good bit. So I'm a huge fan of that. I think it looks dang good, but very slim down triple LED taillights again to match the LED accent lighting on the front headlights there. I think it's cool. It's kind of like this 3D effect here. They kind of pop out a little bit and you got the AMG lettering found at the bottom portion of those taillights as well as along with the uh, AMG badging found in the rear trunk there, the rear hatch I should say. Uh, just below it all you're going to find a gloss black rear diffuser that looks pretty darn good. LED license plate lighting. That's all the little stuff but to the bottom corners there is where all the magic happens. You do have dual exhaust outlets with quad tips, again, finished in either chrome or this kind of uh, carbon fiber uh, finish that we have on this one here today. So it looks dang good, but I think I know what you guys want next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. It's been now since we are around to the back of the AMG GT55. When it comes to opening that rear hatch, it is actually a hands-free power hatch, believe it or not. Uh, there is a button on the key fob as well, and there is a button on the actual back end there to go along with all of that. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 11.3 cubic feet. Now this next part is going to be a little bit different with our configuration. So typically this is a two plus two seater. You get rear seats and uh, the rear seats actually do fold down. You get a good bit of space with that as well but there is a package that eliminates those rear seats for weight savings that's what that's done for we actually have that package so that we got no rear seats and those rear seats uh do not fold down unfortunately so a little less practicality a little more weight savings a little quicker acceleration i guess you could say in this particular spec but uh just wanted to mention that you do have a lot more practicality with the rear seats because they can actually fold down but uh there's tons of stuff going on in that cargo area you got led cargo lighting you got tons of straps you got chrome plated tie down anchors you actually have a grocery bag hook back there which i was surprised to see there's actually a 12 volt power outlet then uh if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor Floor, you're going to find all the tools needed to uh, do a fix a flat basically. So quite a bit going on back there and everything was finished in like this nice carpeting finish in the cargo area as expected as well. But then making our way up to, uh, I'll, I'll call it the rear seats, although we don't have them. Kind of just a storage area in our particular configuration. You got a little bit of netted storage down below. 
but other than that, it's just a giant storage area. But there are rear seats, like I said, that does come standard as a two plus two seater. But then making her way up to the front seats, power adjustable front seats do come standard with four way power lumbar. Front seats are standard heated. They are memory settings as well. Actually, passenger seat even gets memory settings coming standard for up to three different passengers. And also on the driver's side, three different drivers, of course. Ventilated front seats go for $450 if you wanted those. A multi contour front seats with the massage function. That's an $1,100 option if you wanted those. And then of course there are the seats that we have today, which are AMG performance front seats. They go for $2,500 to all one piece. I love them. I think they've been incredibly comfortable in our short little test drive here today. It's a mixture of Napa leather and a microfiber suede in the middle with red contrast stitching. Got the AMG lettering found in the upper portion of the seats. And again, it's all one piece and even the headrests are perfectly comfortable. So yeah, definitely a big fan of this seating that we have today. The bolsters are incredibly nice. Definitely holds you in place very well around the turns on those back roads I was going. So huge fan of these AMG performance seats. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel because like I said earlier, there's so many different options here, really for this car in general. But tilt and telescoping, of course, it is power adjustable. It comes leather wrapped. Uh, it also comes heated. That comes standard as well. There's a microfiber steering wheel. That's an option that goes for $500. That's actually what we have today. So huge fan of that. I loved that. And also there's a carbon fiber and microfiber suede combination that goes for $900 if you wanted to go that route. Um, but you got the AMG lettering found on the bottom. It is a flat bottom as well so definitely no issues with the steering wheel 10 and 2 grips were plenty fine there now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key you got your amg lettering on the one side when you flip it over lock unlock and that button to pop the rear hatch there the uh, lock button by the way is the amg button at the very top that is pretty cool but it is all keyless entry with a push button start there's a remote start though that's available with the mercedes me app so if you buy the car just download the mercedes me app and you got the remote start as well but all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located almost just behind the infotainment screen it's kind of hidden there but anyways when it comes to the gauges wonderful gauge cluster here it is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster there's so many different loadouts uh, in typical mercedes fashion which they do beautifully there's a full navigation screen if you wanted to just display the navigation up there. There's an understated look. I've always loved that understated look of the Mercedes-Benz. There's the classic loadout. There's a sport loadout. There's super sport, which is what I kept it on during my test drive here today. And there's also a uh, track pace. Uh, which is specific for this particular AMG GT55 as well. It looks like it gives you G-Force statistics on the left-hand side here. I'll just pull it up. Yeah, G-Force is on the left-hand side. You got some, uh, I guess, track information there as well. So that's pretty darn cool. I might actually leave it on that, but so many different customizations to the gauges. That's the point of all those different loadouts. Uh, it gives you speed limit recognition, your outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's just digital loadouts. There's your tachometer information of course pretty much everything you could possibly want on a digital gauge cluster but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality again with the options we're starting with the panorama roof that's a $2,100 option we have that so that's pretty stinking cool universal garage door openers for up to three different garage doors found just below the frameless rear view mirror you gotta love that that comes standard 64 colors of ambient lighting I set it to red since we have all the red contrast stitching and the red exterior as well thought that looked pretty darn good but tons of colors there uh, you also have dual zone climate control you have illuminated door sills there is a wireless phone charger up front here as well and since we're up front uh, just next to the wireless phone charger here you have a 12 volt power outlet a couple USB charging ports that's also where your cup holders are within the center armrest there is a little bit of storage not a ton if I'm being honest but there is an LED light in there and a couple more USB charging ports as well by the way the center armrest itself is finished in that microfiber suede finish that is found on the seat so i love that tons of different carbon fiber finishes surrounding all the cup holders here in the infotainment screen that's also carried on to the doors the finishes though honestly is really what makes this car absolutely incredible even the headliner it's microfiber suede the glove box i don't think i've ever seen a suede glove box before until today that is incredible. Well done Mercedes-Benz for that. So let me put this all together for you guys here. You got the microfiber suede, you got authentic carbon fiber, you got Napa leather, and you got aluminum speaker 
covers. Even the air vents have a weight to them and they even have ambient lighting right in the middle as well. So as far as interior quality goes, I'm not sure you can beat this. This car might have the very best interior quality that I've ever seen on any of the last 1,000 vehicles, just about 900 and some, but the last 1,000 vehicles that I have reviewed. So well done, Mercedes, you crushed it here. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen though. 11.9 inch color touchscreen display does come standard. Got Bluetooth and audio streaming up there. There's Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and yes, it is wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. So you gotta love that. Factory navigation system coming standard as well. You can adjust your ambient lighting settings up there as expected. You can also adjust your climate control settings up there as I did when I first started driving this one. There's a bunch of different vehicle settings up there. Um, you can access a bunch of your uh, drive modes if you wanted that. There's the head up display settings. The list goes on and on, but basically everything is up there. Even your drive modes you can adjust up there instead of on the steering wheel if you wanted to do that. But also your radio information though as expected. So when it comes to the sound system, the standard sound system is going to be a 10 speaker Burmester sound system, a surround sound system as Mercedes calls it uh, 600 watts 16 channel digital amplifier then so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio let's see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one all right for one incredible song I love that song but also incredible bass like the bass was just left rumbling there that was insane. Like 10 speakers, honestly, in the size of this vehicle is overkill. But that bass was just absolutely amazing. You could feel that. That was an incredible sound system without a doubt. But last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen, at least, is when you do put this one in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. You got that surround view monitor there to the left as well, giving you that bird's eye view, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. You got driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well. Tire pressure monitoring system, of course, also comes standard, but also some of the advanced safety, at least, active brake assist, cross wind assist. There's a Mercedes-Benz emergency call service. I love that one on all vehicles. So essentially, if you get in an accident, AKA the airbags deployed, they're actually automatically gonna call the car and call you and ask you if you need an ambulance or police or whatever the case. So wonderful feature there. Blind spot assist, attention assist, and the famous Mercedes Parktronic with active parking assist, which will scare the crap out of you at first, but then you'll get used to it and it's absolutely amazing. But Overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, insane driving dynamics in the AMG GT55. And quite honestly, there's really no point in my opinion for the 63 because you could save like 50 grand getting the 55 and then just doing a, a software update to get the same power as the 63, which is essentially what the 63 is. So you got that option. I'm just saying uh, exhaust note is absolutely brilliant. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Incredible design, but absolutely stunning interior quality that's really that's really what gets me the interior quality is unmatched maybe maybe the s class i'll give it that maybe the s class and the maybach s class can beat it but it's dang good but i'm gonna leave you guys one question because i do actually read your comments and i love reading them and responding and all that stuff do you get this or do you get the Porsche 911 Carrera? I'm gonna leave you guys with that one. Put it in the comments. That's about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanna see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that's what we do here on this channel after all for like 10 years now. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.